There's a lot of debate going on right now about GMOs and labels. Big companies like General Mills, Mars, Kellogg's say they plan to label their products. Soon, more and more packaged food products will have labels indicating GMO ingredients on them. But what are GMO labels? When we say GMO, it means genetically modified organism. We're generally talking about processed food that contains ingredients made from plants that were genetically engineered, or GE plants. To understand that, we should start in the field. Many processed foods contain corn syrup or soybean oil. Most corn and soybeans grown in the U.S. are genetically engineered. Scientists can insert a gene into a variety of corn, for instance, to make it immune to a weed killer. So when farmers spray their fields, the weeds die, but the corn doesn't. Some food and consumer groups say products made from these crops should have special labels for the sake of transparency. Food regulators here in the U.S. don't require them, though, and the Food and Drug Administration says GE ingredients are just as nutritious and safe to eat as ingredients from other crops. GMO labels would not verify safety or nutrition. Enter Vermont. <laughs> Vermont passed a law requiring GMO labels on food sold in the state, and there's a deadline. July 1st. In response, some companies are going ahead with the labels, saying they can't afford different labels for different states. So even if you don't live in Vermont, you'll still be seeing more of this. Other companies are fighting the law. They worry the label will look like a warning and scare people. Of course, if you want to go GMO free, you can buy food labeled by the non-GMO project, or you can buy organic. Food with the USDA organic seal can't contain GMOs. 